Here we go. I know this video is going to get plenty of folks mad and hide up under the collar, but it's the truth and it must be spoke on. You can't be pro-black or for black empowerment, sleeping white, or with anyone else for that matter, other than a black person. But hear me out, though, before you throw the baby out with the bathwater. It's just that how can a black man claim to be about black people when he's laying with another woman other than black, when black women's most times statistically go unmarried? Because if you claim it to be about blackness and you land white, Hispanic, Asian, you get my drift. You really only fooling yourself, trying to make yourself feel better because you know where your loyalty lies. In and of itself, and it for sure as hell ain't with no black people. And you have sold out in my opinion if you ask me. And this goes to black men and women who's laying white. How could you lay with and be with a people who have historically done so much wrong against your people? Do you know how many brothers were wrongfully jailed and strung up in a tree all because of the lies of a white woman? Better yet, how many black women have been violated and exploited by white men? And don't give me that, oh well, a white woman understands me more than a black woman. They're easier to get along with. And sisters, don't give me that, oh well, a white zaddy understands me better and takes care of me. Now that's just a cop out, and you know it, just to make yourself feel better. About copping out, plenty of good, hardworking, easygoing brothers and sisters out here to choose from. And when you get with these non-black women brothers, mainly white women, and bring them into our culture, black culture, this thing of ours, they feel most times entitled to speak about black business and issues on our behalf. When they ain't no damn spokespeople for black people, they truly overstep their boundaries with this. I dislike non-black people speaking on blackness, which brings me to my next point. When you start laying with white people, Hispanic people, etc., soon they start talking, yo nigga this, yo nigga that. And this is crossing the line for me. Non-black people shouldn't be using the word nigga. Truth be told, us black people shouldn't even be using the word nigga. It's such a low vibrational word. And it's rooted in negativity towards our people, no matter how good you want to make it seem. This word should be disposed of quick, fast, and in a hurry. Let's pick up our vocabulary and call ourselves brothers, sisters, kings, queens, gods. Because if we see ourselves in this way, it won't be easy for us to harm one another. Then we got this low vibrational rap music that we got nowadays added to people using the N-word as well. Because people listen to this rap music from other cultures and think it gives them a pass to use the N-word. Not on my watch, this is a no-no. I just had to check a white Puerto Rican the other day for using the N-word. So I checked him on it and he was like, I'm black. And truth be told, I don't even like black people using this word in my presence. Everybody nowadays wants to attach themselves to black culture. Everybody wants to be black until it's really time to be black. Side note, I forgot to mention, some brothers enter college, get drafted into the league, sign a record label deal, and the first thing them brothers run out and do is grab up a snow bunny. Insane. It's like it's a part of their contract somewhere in the fine print where they gotta go get a Becky. Truth be told, she only with you because you got a bag. And then before you know it, you in court and she's taking more than half of your estate. Or when you pass away, that money going right back into the white community. It ain't benefiting your community. But yeah, brothers and sisters, let's stick together and build and raise strong black families and pick our vocabulary up. And don't get mad. I'm only being real. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.